Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Eileen. I have a DIY to share with you all. Um, these are the Dollar Tree treat bags with the ties, and these are the ties. It's just a string of jute, jute twine. Um, so we're gonna turn these treat bags into a soft pumpkin, and we're using all Dollar Tree items. The only thing that's not Dollar Tree is this bat right here. So um, let's get into this. All right, so first we're gonna start with the treat bag. And the what I did, I took, um, took the treat bag and I just cut off the bottom of the, the bag. You don't need it um, for what we're gonna do. And then there's also a little tag on the inside and I figured I'd cut that out because that's just gonna be in our way when we start sewing. So get rid of that, okay? And you also need um, needle and thread. I need, where did I put it? Here we go. I'm using just regular thread from Walmart. Doesn't matter what color, you're not gonna see it. And just make sure you have a good size knot at the end the end of your thread you're gonna thread your needle I'm using a really long needle from um, Dollar General I have this in my stash I use it for so many things so comes in handy all right and then oops and then you're just gonna take your needle okay doesn't matter where you're gonna you're gonna sew up the bottom and you're gonna use a running stitch actually let's turn this inside out so it's a little easier and then you can see why we cut off the bottom you don't have to but it's your choice I chose to cut off the bottom so take your needle and if you don't know what a running stitch is you're just going to take your needle poke it through the top from the outside go in and you're not getting anything other than the one side one edge at a time Okay, and go in and out. This is a running stitch, guys. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you pull it through and that's gonna help you gather up the bottom. Okay, it's not gonna be perfect. It's okay. This is an imperfect craft. I've shared how to make fabric pumpkins on my channel um, several years ago and um, a DIY mommy was hosting a pumpkin palooza and you create pumpkins for fall for Halloween doesn't matter and you just share it so it's also a part of my playlist if you're interested you could check out the playlist on my channel and you will find a tutorial many tutorials even a, a silent tutorial and we just make that running stitch keep going around and then we're already at the end look at how quick that was all right and i like to do one more stitch to go past where we started and then draw that opening closed so cinch it up just like that okay and that should stay pretty good and now you just take it and stitch it closed so it doesn't come apart and it keeps that cinch i'm going to make a little knot just by going in and tying a knot and then i also do a little extra few stitches in it's super easy guys you don't even have to do this part there, I showed um, a different way how to make it on my channel on a different video. There's no right or wrong way how to make it. And you're just gonna run a few stitches. And I'm already back to the other side again. Just be careful, don't poke yourself. Super easy. I wanted to use this because um, it already has a face on it. So it's got a jack-o'-lantern face. 
I thought, oh my gosh, super easy. Too easy, too easy. This is overkill right now. You don't have to do all these stitching, but I continue to make it <laughs> do that stitch. Guys, so did you see what I just did? I stitched the top. It really doesn't matter. You can stitch the bottom, you can stitch the top. It doesn't matter. Because there's an easy solution to fixing that. So what I did, you can use pillow stuffing. I did not use pillow stuffing. I used um, grocery bags, shopping bags, and of course, Dollar Tree. <laughs> I used about three, I believe, to stuff this pumpkin right here this jack-o-lantern and I was trying to keep the printed side in so in case you could see through it and just in case I didn't want to be able to see the print and it's okay if you have air in it it'll all come out <laughs> in the end don't worry you see the seams coming apart on the side don't worry about that all right, so the main thing you want to do is keep your pumpkin as smooth shape as possible. Okay? Keep it as smooth as possible. So I used about three bags in this one. And it looks long and crazy. So I see I need another bag. And I'm going to grab another one. So keep the print, print side in so you, if anything, you don't see it when you start shaping the pumpkin. <clears throat> All right. So there you go. This is a funky looking pumpkin. <laughs> so make sure you pay attention if you're doing the bottom or the top. So... That's all I'm gonna say about that. So now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna stitch this up just same way, but this time I'm gonna start from the inside. It doesn't matter if it's in if it's in the same place or what doesn't matter all right so we just shape our pumpkin it's a little deformed that's okay deformed pumpkins are cute still <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show you a um, different way to close this puppy up. Okay. We want to poke this in as much as we can. Just pull it apart a little bit and stick that down into our pumpkin. And you will never know. No one's gonna know. They'll never know. All right, look at that. And I'm gonna run the needle through again. And I like doing that. Helps me feel a little more secure with my stitching. Pay attention if you don't want to do it this way. It's not the hard way, but it's not Not what I prefer. Okay, and now to cinch it off because you're not going to see the bottom, go into here, make a knot. Okay, don't pull too hard, depending on the strength of your thread, you don't want to pull it too hard and then you s break your thread.
There we go. Too easy. Too easy. And there's our pumpkin. All right. What I will do is poke this through. I'm gonna poke it into my pumpkin, my needle. So my thread is like hidden there. Like that. And then I'm gonna cut it off. And you see it's a little funky. But that's okay, we're gonna fix him just like that. All right. I think, I think that's good, just like that. Take this, your tie that you, you get with your treat bag and make sure it's centered to the head or to the top of the head. If you had a twig, that'll be the prime time to stick it into the top where we made the cinch and um look at him he's already so cute just shape it up guys shape it to your heart's content hold this down just a little bit ties or not there he is now like i said if you want you could use the um use the pillow stuffing and yeah and then tie it off okay just like that random fabrics pieces of cloth and then we're going to just take it and tie it off with our twine somewhat in the middle i don't know what it's called it's a little different it's a little different from that that's what we're going to do i'm going to do that for now Whatsoever. <laughs> One of those shabby chic bows. <laughs> and then we'll take our our um what is it called? Stem from Dollar Tree. Looks like this. This one has silver. You know, something. I mean, we might even just take off the, uh, the leaf. It's really, it's really what I want. I don't know about the berry. Them and just wrap it around guys I'm really just making this as I go there's no right or wrong you could decorate it however you want you don't even have to put these bows these um, fabric pieces on there but I thought that would be cute for a minute <laughs> there he goes just like that I'll use this let me get one of my little bats out right here I'm gonna add that there as soon as my glue gun warms up we're gonna add this batty right to that and just give it that little glue gun touch something something like that got a little bit green got a little pink orange I'm all kinds of crazy colors guys <laughs> so let's see if we can do it the right way okay so the bottom out again and then I'm gonna flip this puppy inside out 
that tag off. Okay. Oh, that glue gun is way, uh, heating up. This is not long enough. We're going to throw that away. Get some thread here. Thread that off. Just thread the needle. It's easy to thread. I get a lot of my threads at Walmart, guys. I don't do any specialty threads. Um, if it's at Walmart, I'll grab it. Because when I sew, I need to be able to get it quick. And usually those specialty craft stores are far away. So I end up not getting sewing items from there. All right, so now we're going to locate the bottom, the bottom of this snack bag, treat bag. Okay? And start from there. Okay. Too easy. Too easy. I've used sweaters. I've used um, t-shirts. I've used, believe it or not, underwear. And I'll say underwear because it was for my son. And I got the wrong size underwear, so I had to get new underwear um, for my son. The ones that I used to make pumpkins were brand new, guys. Don't, <laughs> don't think I used um, recycled underwear. No, thank you. I used a brand new underwear. And that is on my video playlist, if you're interested. Just go over to my main page on my YouTube channel and select playlist. And it should be like a Halloween or something. Or really, really easy. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. All right. So I'm going to cinch this up. Pull it tight again. And just go through some of this. I'm just putting a few stitches through. Don't matter where. Just to help keep the bottom shut. Okay? So now we're gonna just make a knot. Make a knot. Okay. A little more for a good measure. And then just cut it off. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and put a knot in this anyway. Okay. So we have two little pumpkins. Move this out of the way. Turn this back out the right way. <clears throat> See the bottom? Perfect. Then we're gonna stuff our bag again. This is just whatever they want. Can and everything. That's good, Emma. These are all from my holes. So, stuff it in there. Doesn't have to be. Sorry for crinkle, crinkle noise. Just want to be gentle when you put this stuff in because you don't want to rip your seams, and if you do, it's okay. You don't want to rip it all the way down, but it's okay if it does because you can just cover it all up again. Okay. Take this again. Like that. Perfect. Okay. Open her. Okay. So I think I like it because this one has, this, it looks like it has a better stem. So I think I like my mistake. So we're going to do the same thing we did and tuck it in. Just stitch that running stitch. Struzzi. Do we really need this long a video? <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Okay. I like the long needles. Uh, when I did sewing my, uh, you know how pumpkins have sections? I use this long needle to stitch in all the sections. All right, so now we're gonna tuck this in. Tuck it in, open it up, tuck it in. And then pull it tight. If I had a twig, I would stick that twig in there and make it all nice. But I don't have a twig. Any more stitches. Like that. This just helps me feel better about my stitching. Just stick it in there. Okay, makes it a lot tighter. And just don't stab yourself, <laughs> which I've done before, and it's never fun. So make our knots. And this baby is done. Oops. Try to make a knot there. And we're gonna stick it in and poke it through somewhere on the outside. There we go. And then cut it off. Doesn't take a lot of time, just you know, just be sure you don't poke yourself. That's all. Take this part and get our ties. We just need one. Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> okay, just take this, get it around, around to the back. Pinch that baby up. <laughs> it's not as smooth, but it's okay. Tie that in the back. This one's a little loose. It's okay. See the difference? Let's see. Three different sizes. Not too bad with the treat sacks. And then um, put these bags, the grocery bags in there. It makes it stand up easily. You can shake their bottoms. All right, let me grab um, some Dollar Tree fabric. I'm just going to use these two from Dollar Tree. Because this is cool off. And um, ooh, cut some strips off of them. I'm just
just going to line these two uh, pieces up and just give it a snip and try it this way. Just rip it. Whoops. And yeah, I like that. I like that shredded edge. Okay. Now, find the folded side. Put that off. Put that off. And put them together. Face them in the same direction. I don't like to see the backs. So we take one. Take this one, there you go. And I'm going to cut these in half. Okay. And we're gonna put them together. One, two, three, four. Okay. Cinch it in the middle. In the middle. Tie it up in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. And we can fuss with them later. Ah! <gasps> there it is. <laughs> there it is. And if he keeps twisting on you, glue his monkey butt down. Glue his butt down. All right, let me grab a stem. This one I think I will leave the berries. All I did with the stem, um, I just took it and wrapped it around. It's nothing fancy. And then you take this end right here and find the wire and twist it around itself. Okay, nothing fancy, just to keep it together. Like that. Just like a notch. Except all my ribbons are flipped. <laughs> You might think, oh, it's too big. You know, to each his own. When you guys make this, please go ahead and share it with me. <laughs> share it with me. Tag me at hashtag Eileen Payne. Tag me on Instagram at Eileen Payne. I think that would be cute. So cute. Look, there's a stem. There's her little beads, her leaf, her bow, ribbons, whatever you want to call it. Let's grab our glue gun piece or glue piece again. This is hot glue, guys. You all following me. You all know what this is. How about a witch? Nope. Green on green. No. Hmm. How about a bow? A bow on a bow. Boho's at Boho's. <laughs> okay, how about we do a white? The white. Yay. How about that? Like that. Yes, we're doing it. We're doing it like that. We're just gonna put some hot glue on the back of this hand. And you know, this is hot glue, so you want to make sure you don't burn yourself, you don't remelt the, the piece that you just made. There, just like that. Do -do -do. Hey, hey, hey. All right. There you go, guys, from my original idea. Um, I didn't use the mesh this time from Dollar Tree. I used those fabric cuts. And you tell me which is your favorite. One, two, or three. Which one is your favorite? But these are all Dollar Tree items, Dollar Tree treat sacks, and... Um, all I did was stuff them with um, shopping bags. So please give this video a thumbs up. And Muriel, here's your tutorial. Check out Miss Cooper's Coop. Amazing, amazing crafter. So I'll check you out later. Thanks, guys. Bye.